stay tuned for next story. Tracy's Handy Hideout. Early one evening, the planes of Easy Airlines looked up to see a most unusual sight. Hanging low in the sky over Terrytown Valley was a great big golden full moon. I've never seen a moon like that before, old Oscar said. Big Jake agreed. It's so big and bright, you can see clear across the valley, he said. JJ and Tracy looked out from the hangar in amazement. Hey, Tracy, JJ said. Mm -hmm. It's still bright enough to play outside. And guess what, said Tracy. Big Jake said we could play an extra hour if we stay close to home. JJ revved his engine. Come on, Tracy, let's go play hide and seek. Okay. High in the sky, a shadow streaked across the face of the moon. It was Savannah, and she was in a big hurry to get home. As soon as she landed, she raced to the control tower where Easy O'Malley was looking at the moon through a telescope. There's a monster storm blowing in from the west, Savannah reported. It'll be here in 20 or 30 minutes. One by one, the other planes gather around. Through the telescope, Easy O'Malley saw dark clouds gathering in front of the moon. He turned to the planes and said, There's nothing to worry about. If everyone pitches in, we'll be ready for the big storm before it hits. Snubby, you alert the people in the valley. Big Jake, you haul some plywood to the terminal so we can board up the windows. That'll keep them from breaking. Herky, you stack those hay bales at the hangar entrance. That'll keep it dry inside. Brenda, you help old Oscar into the storm shelter. Shelter, smelter, growled old Oscar. I'm not going into that old cave. But Oscar, the storm, Brenda Blue said sternly. Just tie me down behind the hangar, Brenda. I like to see these big storms up close, said the stubborn old biplane. Ah! Easy O'Malley continued giving directions. JJ, you and Tracy round up anything loose that can fly around in the wind. JJ? Tracy? Where are JJ and Tracy? I saw them leaving the hangar road a little while ago, Herky said. They wouldn't have gone far from home, said Savannah. I'll find them. All right, but there's not much time before the storm hits, so let's get cracking, Easy O'Malley said. As soon as the moon everyone had a job to do. Snuffy flew out over the valley, and in the darkening sky he wrote, Storm coming, take shelter. Herky carried large bales of hay to the workers who were barricading the hangar. Savannah looked everywhere for Tracy and JJ. Tracy? JJ? Where are you? Where are you? But there was no sign of the little jets. Big Jake hauled a load of lumber to the terminal where Easy O'Malley boarded up windows and doors. As Brenda Blue secured old Oscar behind the hangar, he laughed and shouted. Ha <laughs> I love a good storm, don't you, Brenda? <laughs> old Oscar's belly laugh was cut short when a gust of wind blew a newspaper smack dab into his face. The storm was getting closer, and Savannah was running out of time. Tracy? JJ? Where are you? She hollered. JJ flew up behind her. Here I am, Savannah. She spun around and gasped. Oh, JJ, thank goodness you're all right. Where's Tracy? That's what I'd like to know, JJ said. We're playing hide and seek, and she's hiding. Hiding? JJ, a huge storm is about to hit. We have to find her right away. Don't worry, Savannah. We'll find her, JJ said confidently. I always win at hide and seek. JJ checked in with Easy O'Malley at the hangar. Has Tracy shown up? Savannah asked. No sign of her here, Easy O'Malley said. Give me a few more minutes, said JJ. I'm sure I can find her. No time left, JJ. Better head for the shelter before it's too late. But Easy, 
What about Tracy? Savannah asked. Don't worry. I'll keep looking for her, Easy O'Malley said. I'm sure we'll find her safe and sound. As the storm rolled in, old Oscar was enjoying himself. <laughs> you call this a storm? I find it quite refreshing. <laughs> Easy O'Malley and Brenda Blue opened the doors to the mountainside shelter. Easy O'Malley thanked everyone for pitching in. I'm proud of you, he hollered above the wind. Thanks to all of the fine teamwork, the storm won't be causing any problem around here. Turning to JJ, Savannah said, I sure hope Easy can find Tracy before the storm gets much worse. I can't figure it out, said JJ. I know all her hiding places, and she wasn't in any of them. JJ was the first to enter the tunnel that led to the large shelter inside the mountain. When he emerged from the tunnel, a big surprise was waiting. Tracy! He cried. Pretty good hiding place, huh, JJ? Tracy said with a grin. Tracy, we were worried about you, said Savannah. We thought you were lost in the storm. Storm? What storm? Only the biggest storm of the century, JJ said. And I missed it? You missed this one, Perky said. But don't worry, there'll be another along in about a hundred years. <laughs> in case you're wondering, old Oscar made it through the night without a problem. But he later admitted that next time, just for a change, he wanted to see what a big storm is like from inside the shelter.